Welcome back to the Miami Marlins franchise. We are here at Marlins Park as the 8 and 11 Miami Marlins take on the first place 13 and 4 Washington Nationals. They're supposed to have a pretty bad year after losing Bryce Harper in the offseason, obviously, but they've actually played really well. Guys like Trey Turner, Adam Eaton, Juan Soto, who's hitting 313 right now, and Anthony Rendell have all stepped up big time to fill the gap of Bryce Harper. On the hill for us today would be veteran right-hander Dan Straley. He's had two starts already this year with a 1-0 record and a 3.14 ERA. Not bad for Dan Straley. Take a look at the Washington Nationals lineup here. Trey Turner, Adam Eaton, Anthony Rendo, Juan Soto, the cleanup man, Matt Adams, Brian Dozier, the guy to look at, hitting second, hitting 317 so far. Kurt Suzuki behind the dish, Michael A. Taylor out in right field. And then the starter today is going to be Patrick Corbin. So top of the first 0-2 pitch to Trey Turner to get things started. He misses on that slider. A beautiful pitch from Straley, and Turner sits down. Still in the top of the first year is the 1-0 pitch to the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. He's going to sky a fly ball in a deep center field. Going back is going to be Victor Victor Mesa to the track, and he makes the catch at the very edge of that center field wall to end the first inning. On the hill for the Nationals will be Patrick Corbin, who signed to Washington over the offseason. He's had three starts so far this year with a 2-0 record and a 2.13 ERA. The Marlins lineup today will be Victor Victor Mesa, Sterling Castro, Peter O'Brien, Pedro Alvarez, Jorge Alfaro, Brian Anderson, Curtis Granderson, Miguel Rojas, and Dan Straley. I got to look at today will be Peter O'Brien. He's hit well this year, and he's a guy many people don't know, but he could have a great year this year if he continues to play the way he has. Full count here to Victor Victor Mesa, the leadoff man. He'll hit a deep fly ball in the left field. Going back is going to be Juan Soto, but it's not deep enough as he'll make the catch near the warning track for the first out of the inning. Next man up is going to be Star Starlin Castro, and he'll sky a ball even deeper. There goes Juan Soto down to the track for the catch. So that'll end the second inning, or the first inning, sorry. Brian Dozier going to hit into a little 6-4-3 double play. A nice turn from Castro and a nice scoop from Alvarez to end the second inning. Bottom of the second we go, here's the 0-2 pitch from Corbin to Anderson, and Brian Anderson gets a lot of air on that one as he swings and misses for strike three. 1-0 count to Kurt Suzuki, the veteran catcher lines one, or it's a hard ground ball down the line, and it gets by the glove of Alvarez, and having trouble with it in right field will be Peter O'Brien, so Suzuki will get to second with an error on Alvarez. So later in here, we're in the top of the third. Runners on first and second, Corbin will lay down a bunt, but Anderson on to second for one, back to first, Corbin is safe, so there's runners on the corners with one down. 0-2 count to Trey Turner, he's going to sky one into center field. Coming in on, it's going to be Victor Victor Mason. He'll make the catch, and he's going to come up firing. The throw home will be not in time, and the runner will tag up and score. A nice hit there from Turner to score the run. So it's 1-0 Nationals. Corbin, a nice swing and a miss right there for Juan Soto, striking, it, striking him out. And then the first pitch over towards uh, Brian Dozier, a little 5-4-3 double play. Another nice scoop from Alvarez. Get your throws up, Starling Castro. 1-0 count here to Victor Victor Mesa here. Corbin still has not given up a hit here in the top of the fourth. And it'll be a ground out over towards Trey Turner. He'll fire on the first, and the throw is offline. Mesa will get in there safely. So we're on first with nobody down. Mesa's on the move. Castro will kind of just check swing at that one. And Victor Victor Mesa will advance to third with his speed right there. Great base running. And now we have a runner on third with one down. Peter O'Brien will hit a deep fly ball into right field. Going back is the right fielder, Michael A. Taylor. He'll make the catch near the wall. And tagging up and scoring will be Juan, or will be Victor Victor Mesa. So we have a tied up ball game, but the Marlins still do not have a hit. 1-2 count to Patrick Corbin, the pitcher. And nice pitch there from Straley as he strikes him out. Full count here to Bri Brian Anderson. And he looks at that one right on the top of the zone. 0-2 count to Curtis Granderson. He waves at that outside slider. A beautiful pitch from Corbin to end the inning. Austin Bryce would enter into the ballgame after a solid start from Dan Straley as we're in the top of the seventh. 2-2 count to Juan Soto. He chases the fastball upstairs for strike three. And then a 0-2 count to Matt Adams. He skies one in a deep right field. Going back is O'Brien. That ball is out of here. Austin Bryce had such a nice appearance up to that point. He strikes out the four-hitter Soto, and then Matt Adams takes him yard to make it a 2-1 Nationals lead. So a great piece of hitting there from Adams to give the Nationals the lead. As we had later in the same inning, it's a 2-2 count here to Kurt Suzuki. And Suzuki will swing and miss at that one to end the inning. Bottom of the seventh tier, Nationals still up 2-1. Starlight Castro, a little liner up the middle, and it falls for the first base hit of the ballgame for the Marlins. So they would pull out Patrick Corbin and put in the left-hander Matt Grace out of the bullpen. Here's the 1-2 pitch to Pedro Alvarez. He waves at that outside slider. A nice pitch there 
from Grace to retire the side. Or to retire Alvarez, sorry, as then they bring in Cody Glover in the same inning. The next batter he would face would be Jorge Alfaro. The first pitch to Alfaro, a swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to second would be in time as Castro tried to get greedy to try to tie up the ball game. Tehran Guerrero would enter the game for the Marlins. He's had five appearances this year, and his ERA is ugly. He needs to have a bounce-back performance here. Top of the eighth action, Michael A. Taylor, a little liner into right field. That'll get down for a base hit as O'Brien gets it in quickly. 0-1 count to the pitch hitter, Jan Gomes, and that one gets into left field under the glove of Anderson for another single. So runs on the corners with one down. Here's the pitch to Adam Eaton. He skies one into the right field, and this ball is gone. It gets out of here in a hurry, and suddenly it's a 5-1 Nationals lead. Adam Eaton gives the Nats a blowout lead right here. Cairo Bearclaw enters the ball game here in the bottom of the ninth, trying to shut the door. Victor Victor Mesa up here. It's a little blooper behind the first baseman's head, and Matt Adams can't get to it. That's going to be down for a single. Mesa, a nice piece of hitting. And then the one-out pitch to Starlin Castro. Lines one in a deep left field. This ball is out of here. Castro's fourth home run of the season, and it makes it a 5-3 to three game now. What a piece of hitting there from Castro. And right after that, the Nationals will pull Bearclaw, who was a former Marlin last season, and they will put in their actual closer, Sean Doolittle. They weren't trying to pitch him here. They were trying to save him for a later appearance, but he would have to come in here as with one down, he would fish, face Peter O'Brien. And O'Brien would line one up the middle, a hard ground ball for a single. And he's on board here with a nice base of hit right there. And the two out pitch to Jorge Alfaro lines one into the left field. And it gets down for a base hit. Juan Soto can't get to it. And the runner would advance to third. And we have runners on the corners with two down. Here's Brian Anderson. He's going to hit a little blooper into center field. Will it get down? No, it stays in the air too long. Adam Eaton gets over there. And the ball game is over. The Nationals win 5-3. to three, And they take complete control of this division as they have played great baseball this year without Bryce Harper. That will conclude this episode of the Miami Marlins franchise. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.